built for Orbital in Haskell. Okay? <laughs> um, so this is not mine, it is again Dito's idea, but here's just a short explanation of what Haskell is, if you don't know. You know, Haskell is a standardized, general purpose, purely functional programming language with non-strict semantics and strong static type. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> this, for our purpose, I think we simplified. It's a, you know, it's a programming language. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so this is Dietrich again, and basically, he wasn't sure that built for Arduino is possible in Haskell, right? But Curry Haskell, you know, the man behind Haskell, he says, you know, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so Haskell Turing complete, right? Sure, we can. So, but we'll be lucky in coding, and we will have to see. So how to do build far by home in Haskell? So this is the first in coding. You know, we, we already had a Haskell prompt, we just enter our implementation of build far by home, you know, the double codes, and the system, you know, it's totally type safe, obviously, because you get a result, build far by home. So it's, you know, it works. This is our first encoding. <laughs> so you might say, okay, perhaps this is, uh, you know, what's the problem with it? Well, let's look at the type. The type is telling. The, the most important thing about programming test is the types. The type of build problem is a list of characters. Ah, this is really <laughs> tight. You know, this is probably not the right encoding. So, I mean, is that important? That it's list of characters that bad? Yes, it's bad because you know suddenly built for algorithm has the same type as built for working. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the type of care. Or you know, even something like C, some, someone who thought that it's a problem. I mean C, just a string, right? List of care. Or Java, totally unrelated to, you know, uh, image processing. You know, same type. I mean this is just, you know, all kinds of type errors are suddenly possible and you know, we can confuse things that don't belong together. Wrong type, wrong encoding. Right? So better encoding. Here's an encoding, you know, you designate a data type, build for Abedon equals build for Abedon. You can enter it, no quotes, right? And again, you know, it works. And it has a type, a perfectly, you know, special type, okay? But, I mean, uh, there's actually one important theorem from the uh, Haskell community that says, you know, this is not a fixed point, right? This is not a fixed point. So don't confuse that. This encoding is about build for other. Okay? So this is very strongly touched. This is wonderful. Okay? But actually, we, we suffer from a disease in Haskell country. We want to compose things, right? Everything should be compositional. We're crazy. So this is not a good encoding either. So, you know, we need to take the power built for our item. Right? We need to have all these components of built for our item. Like, you know, A, B, B, and all these things built for our item comprises of. Right? And then we can, you know, compose together built for our item. This is much better. It's compositional. Now we can have all kinds of applications. You see? And this thing also is a much better type. The type is also compositional. You know, try this with Java. I mean, C++ doesn't have types, but Java is some, you know, <laughs> some degenerated types are available in Java. So you can try this. I mean, it fills pages. Anyway, so, but you know, the uh, holy grail of uh, computer science or software engineers, of course, to have this animal up there. I mean, domain-specific language. We need domain-specific language for, you know, uh, build file I don't. So what we do is we now use the plus sign to compose nicely our build file I don't. And we don't, you know, no longer need any of these, these, you know, nested pairs. This is much better. This is now really compositional. Except that, you know, this is again not strongly typed. Suddenly, right? This is now you can do things like build for typo, right? <laughs> I mean, this is and with the same combinator suite, right? This is not a good domain-specific language. We need to do this differently. This is crazy, right? So this is, uh, I mean, I always tend to say, you know, type errors typically <laughs> arise from the lack of higher order types. You know, if you don't use higher order types, then, yes, you get type errors. If you use them, it's so difficult to have type errors, you don't get them. So let's have higher order types. Let's use, you know, Haskell as the weapon of mass distraction. So, okay, so we want higher order functions. That's the solution here. So we want to do things like, no, we don't want to have these tuples. 
Bible is written as a patient. It was not high order. We want to do it like this, with the dot, because the dot is for function composition. This is for very compositional, very high order, extremely high order. So, you know, we, but, but we also want to have type check it. So this is good, this is built for our weapon. This is the kind of application we have in mind. Actually, we want to generalize. We also want to do data for our weapon, right? So this is good, but we don't want to be able to do like data for vertical, right? We don't want that. The type checker should not allow this, okay? So, to make it, you know, we can do this, you see? If you do this with the coding I'm going to show you, this works, you get a type, yes? And if you try this, like belt far out bottom, uh, which is like Dutch, I think. Um, <laughs> then you get a few screens of type errors. There are so many things wrong with that, right? So this is good. This is the encoding. Again, you need all the components. You need one type class if you don't want type classes, sorry. Anyway, and then, uh, I mean, this is a little bit crazy. I admit that, but the encoding works. Um, Anyway, so the most important thing is you need that sort of structure here to actually register build for Arbeidon with the type system. So now the type system knows about build for Arbeidon. I mean, we don't have functionality yet, but at least we have types, right? <laughs> so, and, and the important thing is you see this here. Here's build for Arbeidon, and there's build for Arbeidon. This is what's called the Haskell's triangle, right? <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, uh, I should wrap up. So there's some future work here. I mean, I want to find patterns on this quite obviously. Um, it's based on ready to ship these encodings. I'm going to compete with you guys. And um, in the service pack one, uh, I think it will add like support for shorter error messages, Eclipse support, and proper capitalization. This is actually very difficult. <laughs> we start in a, with a capital B. Okay, I have a second part. I'll stop here. Thank you. <laughs>